Hello, I'm Andrew from the Netherlands and today I'm going to review a Manans model 2325. Well, let me tell you one thing. I came to this house to buy this one. And I already have this one, the 2250B. But this thing is completely uh, renewed. So all the capacitors and uh, the caps and the uh, the things what was necessary for the for the renewing of this machine they are renewed. So I want to know what is the sound difference between this one and my 2250B I have in my home and what is completely original. So okay that is another video for later. But when I came here I was so happy this man I have oh look at this 2225 this is the Walhalla because this man have also this and he have even more players but I will come on that later for now I have the 2225 and what is the 2225 exactly well let me tell you this thing is a monster receiver a monster under the monsters because uh, you need a very strong back for this thing it weighs 22.5 kilogram or 49.5 lbs yes unbelievable if you're gonna fly with this thing you have to pay extra only for this because I think the maximum is 20 kilo in uh, in Europe 20 kilo most airlines uh, handle that and uh, so only for this thing you have to pay extra money and uh, this thing is built from 1974 till 1976 and it costed 800 dollars in America and 3300 German mark in Europe so that means for 1974 three months salary to buy this one so you have to be really crazy or a big pocket with money and uh, it have two times 125 watt for eight ohms I don't know how, how much it delivers if you put four ohm speakers on it but definitely it will be more than 125 watt I think I guess it can be 150 watt for four ohm speakers anyway what does this thing have? Well, as you can see, if you compare it with a 2250B, it's bigger. It's much bigger. It's wider. It's wider. And uh, well, this thing, I don't know. I don't even know what this thing is. But but just that, uh, just let me hear the thing. And I was really impressed by the sound. This sound is it. It sounds like. Well, I thought my 2250B was the best. It was the best until now, but yeah, I don't have $1,000 in my pocket. So the only thing I can do is to review it for you guys. And uh, this thing is completely renewed. It has new caps inside. And uh, well, let's try out the tuner. And this tuner is not connected on the, uh, on the cable. No, just two small wires. And uh, I'm going to show you how this sounds on just two small wires. Hier we hebben tijdens onze maanden in, in Startup Bootcamp, dat is dan het accelerator programma waaraan we hebben meegedaan, hebben we van alle kanten en van allerlei soorten bedrijven vragen gekregen. scherm hangen en vervolgens kun je met je telefoon kun je daar uh, dingen op. Twee namen, mevrouw Merkel zie ik uh, uh, eventjes op de televisie. Well, I, uh, it's stupid for me to let you hear this because my microphone cannot record how this thing sounds. Yeah, I just played on very small speakers. Oh well. They are dedicated speakers, good speakers, good quality speakers. But really, it is impossible for me to explain how it sounds. I can tell you this. It sounds better than the 2250B, but that's normal. It's a price difference from, well, new. I think the price difference is double. This thing costed double uh, in 1974. So, and, uh, well, this thing have everything. This thing have, uh, as you can see, it have... Uh, I don't even know what these things are. Anyway, uh, it have everything you need, and probably most things you don't even need because uh, I normally play my mids and my treble and my bass. That's the only thing I need, and my loudness. 
and for the rest I don't use yet and my main speakers and the second speakers that's all I need and the rest of these extras well I think it's a, a lot of puha but what is important is the sound and the sound of this thing with the two times 125 watt is enormous sound it is it is the, this is really an animal an animal monster receiver that is it what it this is and I can make any more of it than if you have the opportunity to buy this thing and uh, it don't even have to be in a shape like this because this thing is really in a mint shape as you can see it is new it looks perfectly like it just came out of the box but if you can find one who even isn't new like this buy the thing buy the thing because you will enjoy the sound and you will never sell it again that's why you never find these things on the market you will never or maybe once in a year you will find one and if it is on the market well uh, the Marans lovers will jump on it like bees on uh, on honey because everybody is looking for a 23 25 if they don't have it yet especially the collectors and uh, so I am not in my house so I cannot open normally I open the, uh, the receiver to show you the inside I show you the back side but this is not my house this is not my receiver and I'm so glad this guy gave me the opportunity to listen to this receiver to feel this receiver to play with the knobs a little bit and uh, well, this was me for now. Uh, I hope you like this review. It is a little bit different review than you you normally have from me, and a little bit shorter than you normally have from me. But for now, this was me. If you like my video, please uh, comment and uh, subscribe on my channel. And uh, I will be back shortly with more videos and more reviews from Vintage Audio. For now, I say bye bye.